We've got another exciting motorcycle adventure that I'm about to take you on. First off, Cycle Drag Universe, how crazy was that? Our coverage from North Florida, Jimmy McMillan and his Nitro Harley going into a creek. Thank goodness he's okay. We'll keep you updated on his condition. We're hearing very positive things though. Well now, no rest for the weary because we're gonna jump on this bike. Thankfully, the weather is much warmer, much more Florida-like. And we're gonna head to Orlando Speed World because it's an exciting day. This marks the return of the second man to put a motorcycle in the five second zone, Jimmy the Hulk Brantley. If you follow along, you know this is a Larry Spider-Man McBride, Steve McBride build out of Cycle Specialist. And we have been waiting. We've been waiting for a long time. This one's five years in the making. Jimmy said, hey, look, I need my business to slow down a little bit and I need to get in shape. Those two things have finally happened. Jimmy's lost a bunch of weight. He sold his business. Now he's ready to go have some fun. So this is it, guys. First test session. Now, some things to keep in mind here. It's a brand new motorcycle, and it's much faster than the one Jimmy Brantley sold to Chris Matheson many years ago. So he's going to ease back into it. But I'll tell you, Jimmy really impressed the Spider-Man team 20 years ago with how quickly he was able to adapt. So let's take you behind the scenes check out this test session from Orlando Speed World Dragway. Welcome back, Jimmy. Quick fuel stop and we are rolling. Let's go. Great job. You know those are good luck decals? Yeah. You're looking like a million bucks over here. And our main our main goal is to get Jimmy reacclimated with the motorcycle. We're not trying to we're not gonna say we're going to a race this year because we don't know, okay? We've got we got a whole we, we still got a long road to go, you know. We got to be able to run thirteen hundred and twenty feet, so we've got a long way to go, Jack. And, and everybody out there, we're just glad for all the support for Jimmy and Finally glad to see that Jimmy got the time. You know, Jimmy's uh, you know had a pretty big business and he sold his business and he's got a little bit of extra time now. That's what took so long to get him out here. You know, he, you know, business comes first. So this is playtime. Amen. Business for me, playtime for him. It's so. so great to see him back. Well guys, here we go. I'm pumped. We made it. Welcome back, Jimmy Brantley. And if you follow this outlet, you know we love Top Fuel motorcycles. They are so awesome. But there's only a handful of them in the world. So to see a new one finally hit the racetrack, this is a great moment for motorcycle fans and Cycle Drag Universe. Final adjustments being made. Put them right here. Okay. Right here. All right. Yeah. I mean, we, we ain't got really. Okay, do it, let go. guys behind the scenes testing this is what happens this is why you go testing but he's got the best crew in the world and they'll get this fixed in a timely fashion so take a look at this guy spider-man said he's never seen this pulley comes loose twists up a belt no big deal easy fix they will get it fixed but hulk it's good we caught that one low huh yeah buddy yes sir this team will fix this one right on the line they're not even going to take it back to the pits and that's why you got to test guys they're the best Guys, we've told you about that process before. You have to blow all the nitro out of these motorcycles before you can refire it. And Spider-Man, the wise veteran, you saw him say one more time, he wanted to blow it out three times just to make sure there was absolutely no nitro upon startup. You can't just hit that starter button and refire these things. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jimmy. Oh, it sure doesn't seem like a guy who's been out of the saddle for 16 plus years. The Spider Man, that sure doesn't seem like a guy that's been out of the saddle for 16 years. How yeah, about it? Yeah, he did a great job just getting ahead of him out there. Uh, that's what he's been game for 16 years. He's doing exactly what I'm telling him to do. I told him to fail good no further than the 330. The man is phenomenal and probably one of the best guys I've ever known in my life. And, and I'm just so excited for him and Brooke and P, the whole family. I mean, Jimmy's a very dear friend of mine. I wouldn't do, ever do nothing to hurt him. And he's, he listens, he's the friggin' best. <laughs> I love it, congratulations. Welcome back, Hulk. <laughs> Hulk straight as an arrow, buddy. Congratulations. Not too bad, not too Welcome bad. Welcome back. How's she feel? She feel great. Woo! Pulls like a monster. Oh, my goodness. Well, your my, coach my, said my you couldn't have done my, any better. My buddy's trying to kill me. My coach is trying to kill me. <laughs> We've got a long way to go right now. Yes, but, sure uh, you can't do it in three runs. We ain't going to do it in six runs. We ain't going to do it in ten runs. We've got about, you know, we need to make 25, 30 runs. You know, Jimmy had, like I said, like I said a while ago, we hadn't rode, rode in 16 years. Yep. And uh, we just got to get everything back, uh, get him back acclimated. The bike's pretty fast. I mean, it's a, a 102.60. I mean, that ain't uh, wow. That's pretty. That's pretty good. You know, I'd for, say uh, for so. Us. You know, it's right along there where my bike. I was done exactly. Uh, he's done exactly what I've asked him to do. I have no zero complaints. We've had some issues with a few little gremlins with the bike. You know, new bike, new bike deal and. You know, had a little bit of a blower pulley problem before that. We've never seen that problem before. We've had a computer problem pretty much all weekend, and it's a new style computer. We're not used to it. You know, we've had a, just a couple of little switch go bad. Back at the shop, we had a we had a clutch controller that had a crack in it, and then we had to stay up pretty much all night long to get it fixed to get down here. And uh, but you know, I couldn't ask for for Jimmy uh, and his family to do any better. Couldn't ask a man to do any better than what he's done, Jack. He's, uh, He's absolutely phenomenal. You know, we're, we've got a pretty stellar team, and uh, we're training a new one here. I see it. I see it. It's nice to see some youth out here. Yeah. We're, we're, we're training him, and he's very good. He listens well. And, yes. Uh, he does. He does. Really good. I don't know, man. I'm rambling. All there you go. Hey, great job. You couldn't couldn't have gone any better for day one back. So we got lots to talk about, but for now we'll let you get to the bike. We know you have to, but thanks again, Larry. We appreciate it. Thank you. Jack. How about it, guys? Welcome back, Jimmy the Hulk Brantley. Gotta love it, fuel fans. Here we go. It is day number two, and I got to tell you, I think Jimmy got the first day jitters out of the way. He seems even more comfortable. Well, Jimmy the Hulk Brantley, I got to say, from the naked eye, it just appears like you're doing everything right this test session. Take me through it from your perspective. How are things going? How's it going good? You know, and, and, and you know as well as I do, to, to, to be quicker, you know, it's a lot more power that you're trying to control, and uh, it's harder to put it on the ground, and it, it's a little harder to ride. And so it's uh, just, just uh, they're, they're fast. How about now on day two? How would you compare day one to day two in terms of your anxiety, your nerves? Did you calm down quite a bit? Uh, yeah. Let's see what he can do here on this 1500 horsepower motorcycle. Ready? Yep. High gear? Wow. He got a handle on it, just got ahead of him, believe me. I'll try to get one more run in, and I'm going to move him over a little bit, but about a, a bike length over a little bit so he can go a little bit further. Good call. Good call, guys. Good job. Nice correction. You know, he did tell me yesterday he thought that he was looking at the 330 cone a little bit. That could be it because that's where he's instructed to shut off right now. But all things considered, doing a marvelous job. Congratulations, Jimmy. I'm a, I'm a little slower than I should be, but we're just starting to catch up a little bit. Uh, everything's working pretty good. I hear you guys say that, and I hear Larry say that often, that the motorcycle was ahead of me, or I need to be ahead of the motorcycle. How do you stay ahead of the motorcycle? Uh, you, you just got to think quick. 
gotta pay attention and just don't let it get ahead of you. It's just, it just happens. No, she 104. 16 years away from the sport. Jimmy the Hulk Fraley. Back again. The Hulkster. A 267, 330. Even straighter. How did that one feel, sir? Felt good. Felt good. It really did. It seems like you're just getting more and more comfortable yeah, on the bike. Know, just, uh, it just takes time. <laughs> Great job. Yeah, brand good. Keep it up. Keep it up. future plans we're probably going to uh, me and larry uh, go out and uh, do some more testing okay. you know in the next uh, four or five months and uh, he's got a little bit of a schedule to do with nhra this year and uh, in between that we'll go do some testing and uh, get me to the point where i can uh, run a full quarter and then we'll make a decision what to do that's great now after 16 years away what type of memories is this bringing back it brings a lot it really does they're good and they're all good memories no yeah. bad ones is it a little more special this time around? You got a young son with you who's loving every every single minute of this. He's asking all kind of questions. Does that make it a little more special? Yeah, it does. Yeah, and 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 to get back, you know, we reunited with Larry and Steve and the guys. You know, that's that's special to me. We we had a real good bond back in the uh, mid mid uh, 2000, and uh, then I had to go to work, and, and you know, things. Uh, this is good. This is fun again. What's your impression of the way the motorcycle was put together? Now that you've had a chance to crack the throttle, uh, it, it's a state of the art truly really is amazing how about this too for as long as this bike sat are, are you amazed that you guys have had just a few minor issues but nothing major i mean this is the first time this bike has been to the racetrack and there really hasn't been any big issues no it, it, it's impressive that you know for what larry and steve do and then you know we ro roll it out of the trailer and run a 102 60 foot you know um, i mean it, it just, it's hard to believe that it does that much but larry and uh, steve putting all the work they do into it it happens I got one more question, last question here. You're a very successful man. You're in shape, you've got a lot of skills. So people would want to wonder out there, why a top fuel motorcycle? What is it that brought you back out of all the other things you could do in motorsports? Why did you choose to come back top fuel motorcycle? It, uh, uh, you know, to ride a top fuel motorcycle, uh, not a lot of people have done it. You know, there's guys out there that do it, but there's not a lot. And uh, it was just special to me. Uh, you know, it's really uh, uh, coming off the Hayabusa and going to a top fuel and, and being able to conquer it and ride it. Uh, just wanted to see if I could do it one more time while I was on. That's still the craziest story ever, coming off a Hayabusa to the top fuel. I was telling everybody, normally we see people climb the ladder, progressively faster drag bikes. Are you saying there could be hope for me? Could I come off a Hayabusa to the top fuel motorcycle? No. <laughs> I think you're right. I think you're right. Thank you, Timmy. I don't got the talent, but right. welcome back. Great job. All right. So just a preview of what's to come, guys. Down below, please join me in welcoming the Hulk back. It's going to be an awesome year. That's why you got to stay subscribed so you never miss anything. Speaking of that, we got some great videos coming up, some really interesting stops. You know we love motorcycles, and we're going to some different places, so make sure you check it out. And if you need something right now, here's another video for you. Subscribe right in the middle. And you know, if there's anything fast motorcycles, we're in. Cycle Drag rolls on.